Today I'm going to give you my five top fabrics that I use for cosplay. G'day everyone, welcome to another Catch Up with Curalee. So a couple of weeks back I uploaded a video called my top six patterns that I use for cosplay. Today I thought that I would upload my five top fabrics that I use for cosplay. So even though I love all of these fabrics for different purposes, I've ranked them from my least favorite favorite fabric to my most favorite favorite fabric. So that's enough of that, let's dive right into it. So number five, poplin. Poplin I think gets a pretty bad rap because you know what, it's cheap. But that's also why it's good. Poplin comes in so many different colors and it's really, really cheap. So when you're first starting out, this is a really good fabric to use if you're not quite sure how to make a cosplay and you don't want to be spending lots of money on fabric for something you may mess up. I still use poplin when it's for lining or mock-ups or maybe even for like a strengthening layer within a bodice. So in conclusion, poplin, it ain't fancy, but it's cheap. That's a reference for the Western Australians in the audience. <laughs> Moving right along to number four, calico. So with calico, it is a good fabric to use for mock-ups. In fact, only recently I bought two whole rolls of calico because it was on special and it has been amazing to make my mock-ups out of. So if you want a really great fabric to use for your mock-ups and you want something that's gonna be sturdy and that you can draw all over, you can't go past calico. Number three, brocade. Or brocade. You know, you say tomato, I say tomato. It's fine. Brocade is one of my favorite fabrics to use because of the fact that it is ornate. It is wonderful to use as a bit of a feature panel within your cosplays. It's got a beautiful shine to it, but it also can come in a range of different colors. It can come either with two different colors or one color where it's the same color in a pattern on the same colored fabric, which is nice if you just want a really subtle, subtle detail. And it brings that little bit of extra to it. And everyone knows I like to be a little bit extra. So in short, if you need your cosplay to just have that little bit of an edge of fanciness, chuck in some brocade if you can. Number two, taffeta. Taffeta, I think, has also got a bad rep. It invokes memories of 1980s and 1990s wedding dresses and bridesmaid dresses that crinkle as you walk. But I think it makes for the perfect cosplay fabric because it can come in either one or two toned and it has a really lovely kind of shine to it, which is not that cheap shine that you get with some satins. What I love about this is the fact that it adds a certain amount of class to your cosplay because it looks like it is a live fabric. It's not dull and flat like you would with a broadcloth or a poplin. It looks fancy. So with taffeta, I mainly use the polyester taffeta because of the fact that it's affordable, I can get lots of it, and it doesn't look cheap when being worn. So in short, I love taffeta so much that I named one of my dogs after it. And number one, my absolute favorite fabric to use for cosplay, silk. Sure, it's not the most cost-effective fabric to use for cosplay, but it's so pretty. So silk comes in a lot of different forms and my absolute favorite would have to be raw or japuni silk. I love the texture, I love how it looks, I love that it's so easy to iron, so easy to sew with, and when it falls, it falls beautifully, and it just looks like a rich fabric when it's being worn. Probably because it is. <laughs> so if I'm doing a very rich kind of fabric, I'll try to use silk if it's within my price range. If not, it's taffeta. But you know, I'll try with silk first, which is also why I have a lot of silk within my stash because when I see it on special, I buy it. Don't tell my husband that. Look, collecting fabric and using fabric are two different hobbies, okay? So guys, those are my favorite five fabrics that I like to use for cosplay. In the comments below, let me know what your favorite fabrics are to use. Are you more of a stretch person where you like to have a bit of lycra? Or are you the person who likes a good old blend? Or are you a broadcloth? I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you like it. If you want more like this, make sure you subscribe. 
See you later. Bye.